Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this case, we can see shining crystals inside the superior aspect of this cataract, and we can call it a diamond cataract. I have taken up this case for surgery. Here are the surgical steps. The main incision has been made, and now this is a paracentesis on the left side of the main incision, about three clock hours away. And now, this is a big air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule with trypan blue dye underneath this air bubble. And this is the trypan blue 0.06% dye. And now after 5-6 seconds, the dye is washed out with BSS. And viscoelastic substance in this case that is being used is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now capsular excess is to be done. I use a 26 case pen needle and reads a capsular tag. I hold this capsular tag with a ureter forceps. Go anticlockwise. My plan is to do a large axis because the cataract is quite hard. Nuclear sclerosis in this case will be about grade 5. And we have completed an adequate sized axis. Now hydrodissection is done at multiple points with small amounts of BSS. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Now viscoelastic substance is injected again and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. And in this case I am employing my technique which I call submarine chop. Here the teeth goes into the substance of the nucleus, travels through the nucleus towards the opposite equator. Here it is. The nucleus is some superficial cortical matter is removed first. I mean figure two mode. And now with the help of the chopper, the nucleus is pushed little down and the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision, goes through the nucleus and here it is. The nucleus is chopped. 180 degree rotation is done and the nucleus is divided into two heminuclei on the first crack. Now each heminucleus is then chopped into two parts and each part is again subdivided into two pieces and thus we get smaller pieces and we can easily emulsify the small nuclear fragments and we can remove the pieces. And now this is the other heminucleus. It is chopped. I'm going elevating the hepix and here each nuclear piece is emulsified and removed. And we can see a very nice red glow. There's a small piece which is broken into smaller pieces by the chopper and it comes out through the side. And now some viscoelastic substance is injected and the cortex that we see is being removed by a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. See how 
easily. It can be removed with a Simco cannula. However, you can use a coaxial irrigation aspiration for cortical cleanup. The cortex, which is at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 12 o'clock, are removed going through the side port. And now, I can see a very clean posterior capsule. There are no cells sticking to the posterior capsule. So you can implant a foldable intraocular lens now and here it goes. The antisemite is kept formed by irrigation and the foldable lens goes into the capsular bag. The irrigating probe is used to dial the lens and at the same time whatever viscoelastic substance was there in the lumen of the cartridge are irrigated out. We can see the main incision is very clean there is no wound burn and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the sideboard is hydrated so that this stab wound becomes autotight. There is only one sideboard and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time some fluid jet is directed towards the corneal endothelium and whatever viscoelastic substance sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out and then the antechamber is nicely formed like this and the integrity of the wounds are checked and then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.